In this video, we will look at a few formative assessments that are commonly used in the classroom and show you how effective use of these strategies can improve student learning. Formative assessments are embedded in a teacher's lesson and used to reveal the degree of understanding to both the student and the teacher. The teacher's instruction is then tailored to meet the needs based on the results of these assessments. The goal is not to assign a grade. Instead, students should be provided feedback and opportunities to improve their understanding. I like to use exit tickets as formative assessments. So at the end of the class period, I'll create a higher order thinking question that'll ask my students to analyze, summarize, apply, or maybe even synthesize what they learned. So as we're reading a novel in class, I might ask students to make an inference or make predictions um, about the plot or the characters in the novel. Um, they'll record their responses on a sticky note or on an index card and they'll turn it in as they leave. And before the next class, I'll read their responses and that'll help me determine how I'll proceed from there. Another formative assessment strategy is called sticky bars. In my English class, I use sticky bars to assess students' needs when we're reading a novel. For instance, I'll ask students which literary element of the novel they feel most confident. Maybe narrative structure, characterization, theme, or figurative language. Whichever bar is the lowest gives me a visual indicator of where the greatest area of need is. These are just two examples of the many types of formative assessments. When designing formative assessments, remember that the key is not to only collect data, but also to respond to it. Please share your formative assessment ideas in our Next Thought Forum.